so I just take this down and put it over here, I guess. Oh, look at you. You're a lizard, goat, snake, zebra, uh, deer. I think we'll call you Fred. Welcome back, everybody, to the Planet Crafter. I'm the Bearded OG, and in this episode, we are going to get started working on animals, mammals, mammal, animal, animals, moles. Okay, so let's see. We want to make the animal shelter first, so let's pin that, and we need a silk for that. Uh, let's see. Where's silk? Silk is over here. Okay, we got that. Uh, we're gonna need a T2 fertilizer, a methane, methane, nitrogen. Where's methane? Over here. No. Here. A lerma seed and a circuit board. All right, we got circuit boards over here, and lerma seeds are here in the biodome. Okay, so I don't know how big this thing is or how it attaches. It's probably not something we want hanging out over a canyon, or is it? Yeah, this probably needs to go out on the ground, I'm thinking. Oops. So let's see if we can find a spot out in the front yard for it. Maybe right over there. Press the... Oh, this is small. I thought this was going to be larger. Okay. Um... I wonder if it would be... Okay, let's just set it down for a minute, see what it looks like. Oh, I just got an achievement. Space Zoo, craft an animal shelter. Open the animal shelter. So I guess we put the that genetics material stuff in there to do this. I was expecting this to be a big building, kind of like a barn or something. Oh, uh, all right. Tell you what, I have, I'm feeling like a better place for this is our food, our food. Bar. Why do I do that all the time? Back to about there. All right, this is the canyon base. And we want to go back to the food bar. Is there a nice place out here we could put the animal farm? Yeah. How about right here? This looks like a good place. Turn it this way and put it right there. Ah, yes, that's better. Okay, so we have to... We have to put in genetic stuff. Oh, that's what you guys were talking about. A few of you guys commented about harvesting these and I'd find something in here. That's wow. So does it alternate between larva and honey? Or is it just random and I just happened to get all larva? That's nice. Okay, cool. Um, all right, so Let's see, what else do we have? We've got um, we've got a genetic extractor and a genetic synthesizer. Uh, 
Okay, let's go. Uh, let's go back to our main base and make both of those items if we have the stuff for it, and see if we can figure out what that does. Um, but we also have we also have some of that um, DNA stuff in one of these bins. Yeah, all of this stuff here. That's a bio, excuse me, bioluminescence. That's a variant. That's a size, skin pattern, size. But this is a size five and this is a size four. Okay. Oh, okay. We put this into a genetic synthesizer to create a new creature. Okay, so the genetic synthesizer is this thing. We need a magnetar, a blazar, and a quasar. Um, we only have quasar. So we might have to take a trip to the rainbow cave to get some of those other ones. <laughs> and this guy needs... Um, Allows the extraction of genes from a multitude of living beings. So we get a critter and then we use this to extract its genes to make a new critter from that critter. Does it kill the critter? Because that's kind of mean. I don't know. Um, okay. Well, then I guess... Let's go here. Let's go back and look at the thingy again. I want to remind all of you that this is my very first time messing with this. I haven't watched anybody else do it. I haven't read up on it. Oh, okay. Insert creatures DNA to spawn animals. So Um, creates a creature's DNA by combining genetic traits. So maybe I do put those thingies in there. I think the other one's maybe for making animals, but this is for actually, or, or making different types of animals. Whereas this one is for, let's see, where are we at? I always get lost in my own base. Let's just try something. Let's. Let's do a bioluminescence, a variant, a size five, and a skin thingy. Let's just put those in there and see if anything happens. Oops, I clicked the wrong thing. While we're here, though, yeah, that's almost ready for another launch. Getting a whole mess of pulsar quartz. Here, let's just uh, grab two of those. We'll help our drones out. Oh, I guess it needs three. Okay. Food farm. Oh, okay, so th these are genetic traits. We need actual creature DNA for this. So the genetic traits <coughs> probably... Mine's a creature's DNA by combining... Okay, so the genetic traits go into this. So we need to find a Magnetar, Blazar, and we, have, we already have a Quasar. So Magnetar and a Blazar. Let's go back to here. And I'm going to put the bee larva in here. Wow, that is a shit ton of bee larva. That's nice. I'm going to put these back in here for now. Should be 
carrying a water with us. And let's actually eat too. Okay, so let's head on over to the Rainbow Cave and uh, get some Magnetar and some Blazar. Alright, so this is all Pulsar in here. I think, um, I think I was actually supposed to go up higher for the Magnetar. Yeah, here we go. Magnetar Quartz. Can you mine this stuff with an extractor? I never even, that never even occurred to me until just now. Oh, there's some good stuff. I know you can find it when you do the procedural wrecks. Um, I can't mine that. Axe. Thousand Terras. Nice. And a Volnus plant. That gives us uh, 11 Magnetar Quartz. That's pretty nice. Okay, we also need a Blazar, the blue, the blue stuff. Lost me and Rod, another genetic trait. Okay, that's the Pulsar. This is the... What is this? This is Quasar. Inventory's full. Alright, I just realized I was supposed to get Blazar. Not the other stuff, but... So I came back to the Blazar cave. Let's do that. Then we'll have everything we need to make that genetic synthesizer thingamadoodle. Oh, look at the rainbow colors. Pretty. Let's head back over to our food farm. We'll probably do all, if not uh, most, if not all of our animal stuff over here, just because I like this area. It's very lush, beautiful, green. It's a good place for animals. Okay, let's build a genetic synthesizer. Let's put it over here. Oh, wow. Look at this thing. Insert traits to synthesize a creature. So it looks like these are required and these are maybe optional. Yeah, optional. Defines the skin pattern color. Defines the skin pattern. Defines the variant of the creature. Defines the bioluminescence level. Defines the maximum size. Species defines the species of the creature mandatory. The, the color A and color B. Insert traits. All right, let's um, let's go back here. Um, actually, here, let me drop a couple more things off first. Okay, we found a microchip, too. Let's uh, see what that gives us. Drone visualization rocket. Okay, gotcha. Um. All right, so we want to grab all of this stuff again. Genetic traits. Oh, also, ah, oh shit, we need a solar quartz for this one. Genetic extractor. Oh, you know what? I wonder if we put... 
what do we what do we put in here let okay let's make this too because we might actually need this uh so blazar pulsar and we're gonna have to go find a solar quartz osmium rod circuit board and a mutagen Of course, it needs the the one type that I don't have, which is the tier three. So we need a bacteria, a nitrogen, and a sulfur. Bacteria is right here. Nitrogen is here, and sulfur's here. All right, so we just need to go find a solar crystal. But that goes in there. That's a skin pattern four, skin pattern four. That's a genetic variant. That's the bioluminescence thingamadoodle, and this is a number five size. <clears throat> Excuse me. So that's all we can put in for those. Uh, we should also build ourselves a storage for these things. What are, What is this used for? Yeah, I'm just going to put all this stuff in here for now. We got a lot of food built up. Is the rocket... I might need to start thinking about making some more drones. We'll keep one of those with us. Okay. Um, solar quartz. That's what we're doing. There's solar quartz. The yellow rare ore. Find solar quartz. Hmm. I guess this is the first time I've harvested solar quartz. Goes down to another part of the cave. And we'll grab this one. Okay. Put the extractor next to the other guy. Extraction. Oh, okay. So this is all the different types of things that we can put in there. That's cool. So this is how we start. The ones that I have now are just ones that I've looted. And obviously we don't have everything we need. So it's up to us, I guess, then to figure out what combination of what does what. And we can even include magnetar and pulsar quartz. Oh, okay. So, it, oh, gotcha. Okay. So it does tell us what it's going to do. At least generally speaking, it doesn't tell us like if it's number four or five, six or whatever, but. Ah, I okay. can't. So the ones that we need are species and color A and B and skin pattern color. All right. So for species, that would be, those are our, our larva or only those, just those three, huh? Find other rare ores by exploring the world. What? It's probably giving us a hint about finding the quartz, I'm guessing. Huh. Okay. So, so it looks like these are the only three options we have for species. I think. 
just, you know, moving my cursor over all of this. <laughs> so we got bee larva, we have silkworms, and we have rare larva. Why don't we start with the rare larva? See if I can just find one on the ground out here. If not, I've got to... Uh, I have those back at the main base, of course. Okay, so that gives us the rare larva. So we'll put that in there. All right, what else did we need? We needed um, color A and color B and skin pattern color. All right, so that's a bioluminescence. Here's a, an arima plant is a color B. A tusk is a color B. Nona is a color B. Pestera. Okay, so it looks like all of the flowers, except for these two, these two highest valued ones, are colors. So I'm assuming that's going to give us purple, white, pink, blue, and red. Oh, do I just put... Can I just do this like this? Yeah. Why is that blue now? I don't know. Okay, so that gave us our genetic trait. So now we need co color A. So color B are all the flowers, except for the really high-end ones. What's color A? Oh, those are all color B. Okay, here we go. Color A's are like butterfly larva. And what's skin pattern color? Here we go. So fish egg or frog eggs are skin pattern color. That makes sense since they're so have such colorful scent uh, skin. Bleh. All right, so we need we need some frog eggs and we need some butterfly larva for uh, for color A and flowers. All right. So I think for color B, let's grab a pastera seed. Do I have one in overflow? I do. Okay, so that'll give us color B. I'm gonna drop these guys off here. <laughs> And then we need a butterfly larva for color A. And I don't have one of those. We're going to have to make a butterfly larva. Let's go with... Let's try this uh, chevron. So we need a rare, a muti, and a furt. Okay, well that's doing its thing. Um, we need to find some frog eggs. Uh, let's just try the generic frog eggs for now and see what happens. That doesn't go in there. Who put that in there? Oh, we got a penguin butterfly instead. Okay. We'll work with that. Okay, so put the that in for color B. Put that in for our skin color pattern. And then in for color A. Alright, put all of these guys in. Uh skin wait, what? What, what happened to our skin color pattern? Wasn't that the frog egg? All right, so put the generic frog eggs, extract the traits, 
That's a skin pattern color. That's what we're looking for. Okay. Skin pattern color. Yeah, I have no idea what happened to that other one. Unless I had the wrong thing. I'll have to go back and look, check the video. Okay, let's see what happens here. Insert traits to synthesize a creature. New life forms craft your first DNA sequence. Where, oh, it's right here. Okay. Oh, that's kind of neat. Okay. So if I... So I just take this now and put it over here, I guess. Oh, look at you. You're a lizard, goat, snake, zebra, uh, deer. I think we'll call you Fred. Oh, that's cute. So what does he do? Does he just stay within range of the shelter? Or does he just go out into the world and start his own family? <laughs> he's going to have a hard time doing that until we make some more Franks. Oh, that is cool. Oh, here, let's grab you. Well, Frank, enjoy your new life. Okay. So we've, I guess we figured out how to do animals. Um, oh, I, okay. I see what's happening here. So we can, we can support up to four more animals with this shelter. And then if we want more than that, we have to build a new shelter. I gotcha. I'm picking up what you're putting down. Okay. Frank, what are you doing? He's eating. Aw, oh, Frank, you're awesome, dude. Don't eat too much. You'll get a tummy ache. <laughs> That's fun, man. All right, you guys. Um, that was fun. It, it was. It, it takes a little bit more to figure out, but it should. You know, we're talking mammals here. Higher, you know, much more complex creatures. So, pretty cool. So... I can see where you could um, you could spend a lot of time experimenting. I mean, I, there's there's all kinds of potential variants here. I don't know what the actual maximum number is. It's probably huge. Um, and it's just really neat how they put that together. I, I like that. All right, we'll have to you know work on you know getting some more critters going as time goes on. This is not something I'm going to sit here for hours and hours and hours and and do it all in one. Uh, you know, in, in one session, so to speak, but we'll, we'll just continue making animals as, as we go along and uh, have fun with it. I should probably eat something, huh? So we've got all these other traits that we can continue to use. We might as well use them up first. Um, didn't we use a size five trait? I figured we would get, we'd get a larger animal from that, but. Maybe it goes the other way around. Maybe the lower the number, the higher. Let's do a size four. Well, here, we'll just grab all of these things. And we'll stick them in here for uh, the next round. And then we'll just have to make all these other things. If I just stick, what do you give me? You give me a size trait. Okay. Let's just make it so we have it. It's a size two trait. And I should probably get going on, you know, making some more frog eggs and fish eggs and stuff like that, too. Those all count towards color B, just like the frog eggs do. All right. Nifty. What do these do? Oh, those do a bio bioluminescence trait. Here. Yeah, let's put one of those in. There we go. So that gives us a five uh, bioluminescence. Uh, but we have a number 10 bioluminescence in there already. And this is, what was this again? That was the size trait. Uh, and we have, we have a number four size trait in there. Very cool. 
Um, can we... No, we can't. Okay. I was going to say, can we use mutagens to make something? But we need mutagens to make these things to then make these things. Let's take a look at our money. All right, so we have 20,499. We're, we're saving up to get this living compartment done because we're going to use this to build our home. <clears throat> so we're getting close. All right, guys, I think, <coughs> excuse me, a couple things coming up. I'm not sure what order we'll do them in, uh, but I want to I want to do the warden's quest line to do it for funsies. And hi, Frank. How you doing, buddy? Um, do it for funsies and also, but to get access to the golden uh, butterflies and stuff. And um, what was the other thing? We're going to do that, and we were going to do, gosh, I can't remember what the second thing was, but there's something else significant like that that I wanted to, to do fairly soon, too, but it just escaped my mind. Frank even had, does like a little mew. Can we pet him? No, it doesn't look like we can do anything with Frank. All right. Um, Gosh, I wish I would. We could remember what that other thing was. We're going to go to. He just mewed. Oh, pet. How do I get it to. There we go. What just happened? So by petting him, we get a genetic trait? Uh. Uh. Is this... No, I don't think so. I think we had, we already... Didn't we already... We must have already had that in our inventory from putting that magnetar quartz in there, I think. Or is that what that was? I don't know. <laughs> again, I'll have to go back and look at the video again. Can we put a bunch of these in at the same time? What happens? Oh, yeah. Okay. So it'll do them all at the same time. Okay. Those are all just size traits. Yeah. I like that. That's cool. All right, guys. Yeah. So I, I'm, my mind went blank. I, I wish I could remember that there was two, two big things. One of them was the warden quest line. Um, whatever the other one is, I'm sure it'll come to me at some point. And, uh, anyway, that is going to be it for this episode. Thanks everybody for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you did, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share the video, and everybody say goodbye to Frank. Uh. <laughs>